represented the mascot of chemistry and so they were given an opportunity to create and design a mold and I told them to look at history, literature, theater, entertainment, anything to create a mold that has a personality that takes off on someone else like Minnie Mouse, Minnie Mole. Or we have Winston Mole Hill or Winston Churchill. And uh, they all had a grand time. And this was one of the most creative groups I've had since I've been teaching chemistry. They did an excellent job. <laughs> what, would, uh, what would be your top three favorite moles? That's hard for me to say. That's why I've had other people doing the judging. There's so many good ones. I would really uh, have a hard time doing that. So I relied on peer judging. And then faculty judging is taking place now. Uh, what is the winner get? Well, they're going to get a ribbon for a second and third place, and they'll also get some kind of a homemade treat from me. Is this the uh, first year you've done this extra credit project? No, I've done this for a long time. Sometimes, on certain years I do it, certain years I don't. It depends on the time and what we have going on, but uh, I like to do it often. A lot of times I make it mandatory. Here we're going to see the contestants and the, the mole, Molathon. Holy moly! My mole's name is Winston Mole Hill, and it's of course modeled after Winston Churchill. And I took some fabric and I cut out the mole design, and then I stitched him up and stuffed him. And then I put these googly eyes on him, and this pom-pom for a nose, and then I made a hat out of some, uh, some stuff I got at Michael's. These are Spongebob square pants. His name's Spongebob Mole Pants. Um, I bought this off Amazon, and I used a sewing machine and bought some fabric for him. Alright, this is Spider Mole. Um, it took me... Uh, about two days. I just cut out some paper and you know put on the the face, and um, I had to draw some lines on the fabric. Uh, yeah. Did you hurt yourself at all? Uh, almost, almost did. You know, with the needles, you know, the sewing and stuff. Yeah, I almost pricked my finger. I'm good. Holy moly! We're here with Sherlock Holmes, or however you pronounce his name. Uh, so as you can see, there's a lot of great moles out there. Um, go in Miss Heckman's room, vote, vote on the contestant winner, and see who wins. 